which is capture the flag. I don't guarantee any wins in this. It just depends who I'm playing with. Um, I'm not very good at this mode. Um, but like I said, I'm learning and I'm, I'm figuring out the things that I can do better, protecting the people from scoring. Um, it, I'm better at that or stopping the person from scoring um, for protecting my flag versus running after them to try to, to or running the flag in to score. So we'll see how this works out. So I don't guarantee a win on that. I didn't even think we were going to win that call, that call rush, but it's one of my favorites. But like I said, this build that I'm running, the Primal Hunter, build is pretty neat um i've seen the updated graphics for this for this map and it looks really nice Is that ours? Yeah, that's ours. We're going to score. Nice. Well, that's a real person. He doesn't have that strange name. That's unnerving. Ooh. Yeah, man. My stuff is actually working. coming from here. The fact that that guy lives for that long is pretty impressive. Like if we do that, we should be able to hold we should be able to hold the line, and we should be able to win this game easily. That's a real person. He's trying. I'm not letting. So that's, so I have seven. So that's like seven um, XP points right there. That's up to eight. That didn't make sense for you, fella. Woo! There go. See you later. Oh yeah, dog. That is primal hunting at its core. Got it. That is nice. Yo, that 90% that I'm getting every time I kill something is crazy. Nice. So this is like really easy to win because this is what I kind of learned from um, from Boosted Monkey. 
this is what you want to do. You want to hold them, trap them at this point. This point right here. And let your guy go running in to go score. We have them like pinned. They're basically pinned. So like this mode is easy to win using um, from this area. Just letting us farm. Because I don't know what my assists are. Depending on that, I can tell you what my KDA is going to be. Because 0 and 1 are equal. Nice, no, he's killed them all. No, I got you. Yeah, so. It came out a pretty easy one for me too. Um, so if you look at 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 Kenan, um, KDA, I'm adding him and I'm adding Milo 2.0, and I had um, PDX Squatch on on my team. So that it was again, yeah. So what happened is Milo was screwed. He was versing. He was three on one. So. He wasn't going to win. Um, but if you're going to look at his KDA, so I should have 44 XP for this. I should be 44 XP because ones and zeros in KDAs count as one. You don't divide then. If it's also, if it's a uh, one, you divide by one, which is still the same number. So if you look at Kenan's stuff and then you look at it, he has 19 plus 100 if he had 120 it would have been a straight 40 i think i would actually make out with more xp than he did even though he has 100 kills because he died three times it divides his full number by three and because milo died 12 i mean milo 002 died 12 times it He's like three or four points. He's not gonna get much. So forty divided by twelve, that's disgustingly low. That's not that's not gonna be high. It's gonna be like three or four he's gonna get at max at four point four XP. I should have forty four XP. Based on if that's how KDAs work. It didn't give me all forty four. I guess I was in there for only 20. I was I was in there for a short time. I only got 29. I only got almost 30 of it. <laughs> I got my kills. I didn't get my assist added into it. I got my kills. Maybe the gold affects how much you get. Maybe the gold affects how much you get. Because if I had gotten gold, I was the leaderboard, I probably would have gotten my kills. And they probably would give me some of my KDA too. But 30, 29, that's a pretty neat one. I'm almost leveling that thing up. And this build, man, this Primal Hunter build is sick. It's, believe it or not, when I first wanted to get into this game, this was the build I wanted to build. I wanted to build a god a god killer build. Basically, Primal Gods, I, I eviscerate them. I, I destroy them. But the way this build works is every time I kill a normal person or I kill one of the mobs, I get almost a whole like one of those blue crystals that gives you like 10 off so I, I probably lose nine seconds off my counter every time i shoot something and kill it so that's pretty 